Hey there guys, I'm Cody Mayo, and this is Cigar TV. And on today's episode of Cigar TV, we will be doing a review on another cigar. And uh, this uh, cigar this time is circa 1996. It was a fine year, but not too bad, you know. I mean, if you look at me, I'm a product of 1991, so, you know, I think I've aged well, maybe. <laughs> no, but anyways, the uh, cigar itself, it is actually a pretty good cigar for getting it in a bundle of 20. It burns very evenly. It has a good draw on it too. Uh, it can get pretty smoky. I mean, if you look at that right there, how the ash is, even though it's still uh, low on the stick, it's pretty uh, tightly packed, but not too tightly packed where, you know, you can tell from the ashes how tightly packed the tobacco is between the binders and all that and so far it's pretty good the ashes are kind of light colored with some dark coloring to them as well so yeah the band around it is a white band with a combination of gold and green uh, letters and graphics around it The uh, outside wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, and the binder, or the filler tobacco, is Dominican. So, yeah. And the country of origin is Nicaragua. These cigars, individually, are about, eh, give or take, about 75 cents. A stick. I bought the whole bundle of 20 at the current time for $14. So, if you think about it, it's not bad. And for this cigar right here, that's a good price point for a daily smoker. Even that, it's also a medium to full body smoke. More on the medium side than I would say on the fuller side. You do get good flavors from it, but it's nothing overpowering. So, uh, let's dive into this cigar right here. See what type of flavors we can get from it, and go on from there. Alright, so you have a bit of a bitterness taste to it. Uh, it's nothing that's going to be overpowering or anything like that. Also, there's a earthiness. I'd also like to say that there is a hint of hay, and I would like to also say that there's somewhat of a wheat-like flavor to it. But all those things together, they're not very overpowering. I think the thing that would be the most uh, noticeable is the bitterness, but like I said, it's not a bad bitterness, and it's nothing that's going to be uh, overly powerful in. Uh, overly powerful for the uh, cigar itself and for getting a cigar like this in a bundle of 20 you know you don't expect too much from it but at the same time 
you want a good cigar to be smoking on for a daily cigar. So yeah, the cigar itself isn't bad. It's about like a like a Churchill size, give or take. So yeah, uh, let me show you the uh, package. So like in a normal bundle, it comes in pretty much a plastic a bag with all the cigars just like packed together. Also, I didn't mention this, but that's because it wasn't on the cigar there. On the bottom part of the cigars, there is a secondary band that, yeah, it's green with white lettering. Nothing too special about that. But yeah, this is the package. Nothing out of the ordinary. Pretty plain Jane. And each cigar is wrapped in cellophane wrapper as well. But yeah, for a daily cigar, something that you could just smoke and be fine with, you know, in the morning, in the evening, or even if it's your first cigar of the day. It is a good cigar to have, and yeah, not too bad, especially for the price point. And uh, you can get these cigars from, uh, I believe they're exclusively from CI, if I recall right. But, yeah. Uh, for people who don't know CI, it's actually Cigar International. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't know if y'all... Uh, have ever shopped from CI or not, or Cigar International, but whenever I say CI, I mean Cigar International, just to clear all that up, because you never know if someone else might use that terminology for a, uh, some other type of business. I'm not too sure, <coughs> but yeah. Anyways, if you like this video and would like to see other videos like this one, uh, hit that subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and uh, then hit that notification bell in the corner there, so you all can stay up to date on all my upcoming videos. Also, if you have any more questions about this cigar or want to leave any future topic uh, tips tricks topics cigar brands or cigar gadgets for me to review uh, leave those down in the comment section and I would do my best to get back to all of you and in a timely manner and also if y'all would like to know what I do in my day-to-day -day personal life and see some behind the scenes of cigar TV and what I do as an actual job from time to time. Go and follow me on Instagram.com. That is CigarTV91 on Instagram. So, yeah. Till next time, guys. Stay safe out there. And stay smoky. <laughs>